Chapter 3 Electrochemistry 3.3 Electrolytic Cell Part 1 At the end of this Part 1 lecture, students should be able to draw an electrolytic cell, describe the operation of an electrolytic cell, Explain the influence of the following factors on the selective discharge of species at the electrode. The factors are SRP of the species, concentration of the species, and the nature of electrodes, whether active or inert. So, what is an electrolytic cell? Let's look at what is electrolysis first. Electrolysis is a process in which reactions take place at the electrodes when a current is passed through the electrolyte. It is made up of two electrodes immersed in an electrolyte. They are known as anode and cathode. Next, there will be a direct current which is passed through the electrolyte from an external source. For the electrolytes, molten salt and aqueous ionic solutions are commonly used. In electrolytic cell, the anode is the positive terminal which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. At anode, oxidation reaction takes place. On the other hand, cathode is a negative terminal, which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. At cathode, reduction reaction takes place. Let's look at the differences between galvanic cell and electrolytic cell. First, in galvanic cell, cathode is the positive terminal, while in electrolytic cell, cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Second, in galvanic cell, anode is the negative terminal, while in electrolytic cell, Anode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Third, in galvanic cell, the conversion is from chemical energy to electrical energy, while in electrolytic cell, the conversion is from electrical energy to chemical energy. Fourth and last difference between them is, in galvanic cell, Spontaneous oxidation and reduction reactions occur at the electrodes, while in electrolytic cell, non-spontaneous oxidation and reduction reactions occur at the electrodes. Next, let's look at their similarities between galvanic and electrolytic cells. First, both of them have oxidation occurs at anode and reduction occurs at cathode. Second, anion move towards anode while cation move towards cathode. Third and last similarities, in the external circuit, electrons flow from anode to cathode. Now, let's look at the factors that affect the selective discharge at electrode. There are three factors. The first one is standard reduction potential or SRP of the species. For cathode, the species with the more positive SRP value will be discharged first, whereas at anode, the species with the more negative SRP value will be discharged first.
the concentration of the species. The species or ions that has higher concentration will be discharged first. However, do take note that when the difference of the SRP values of the competing species are too large, then the concentration factor is considered as no longer significant. The third and last factor is the nature of the electrodes. There are two types of electrodes which are active and inert. For active electrodes such as copper and zinc, they can be dissolved in the electrolyte to form ions and will be deposited at anode. While inert electrodes such as carbon and platinum cannot be reduced or be oxidized. End of part 1 to be continued in part 2.